Hello. So I think there were um, some of you that might be a little bit confused as to what we do with our visual journals. So here's a little bit more of an explanation. So our visual journals are going to hold all of our prompts, our weekly prompts. So every Monday you're going to receive a new prompt and that prompt will be due the following Monday. So um, for example, this week, uh, most of you have I am or you have into the night, okay, depending on what class you're in. So you're going to take that prompt and I would keep a running tab, see like this, somewhere in your visual journal we have number one, number two, okay, so you want to keep a running tab and then you're going to go to your very first blank page and you are going to make a direct observation. Just like with the still lifes that you did at home, or for those of you that were in class, we took one object and we set it in front of us. And I want you to draw all of the darks and the lights that you see. Now, that direct observation is going to be about the size of your fist, okay? It's gonna be 20% of the entire page is going to be that direct observation. Now. A direct observation is not something that's drawn from a picture. It has to be physically in front of you. And I highly recommend you putting it close to some sort of light source, whether or not it be a window or a lamp, uh, something where you can really see all of the darks and the lights. Then you're gonna take that direct observation, no matter what it is. It could be a pencil, it could be, um, it could be a doll that's in your room, whatever it is, it could be a trophy, it doesn't matter what it is. You're gonna take that and you're going to incorporate it into your piece. Now, your visual journal could have painting, it could have collage, it could have pencil, it is whatever you want to do. Sometimes I will specify what it needs to be, but right now all you have to do is step one, do your direct observation. Step two, turn it into the theme of whatever it is this week. Uh, today for you, for your visual journal uh, prompts for the ones that are at home, all you're going to do is start it and upload a picture of your progress. You actually have all week long to complete it. And um, later on in the week, I may have you also upload some other pictures of your progress. So please email me if you have any other questions. Um, and I hope this helps. I apologize. I know that you know we're kind of dealing with in-person and at-home learners and I'm trying to figure out the best way to give you all information. So I do hope this helps. So hope you have a good day.